Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and today we're going to be talking a bit about wrestling since we haven't done so in a while. So let's go ahead and hop into this by talking about the recent Ring of Honor pay-per-view that happened, the first big one under Tony Khan's ownership of the company. We had Death Before Dishonor here, yes, I think it was yesterday, Saturday. Friday, Saturday, somewhere in that time frame. Anyway, Saturday. Okay, so it was Saturday night. Now they had uh, on the match card, you had matches such as Claudio Castagnoli versus Jonathan Gresham for the World Championship. A two out of three falls for the tag team championship between FTR and the Briscoes. The television championship between Samoa Joe and Jay Lethal. The pure championship between Willer Yuta and Daniel Garcia. The women's championship between Mercedes Martinez and Serena Deeb. A six-man tag team championship between The Righteous and Dalton Castle and The Boys. Then a battle of the brothers between Roosh and Dragon Lee. And we also had four matches in a pre-card, um, which was Brian Cage and the Gates of Agony versus Tony Depp and Alex Zane and Blake Christian. Allison K versus Willow Nightingale, the Shinobi Shadow Squad versus Trust Busters, and Coke Cabana versus Anthony Henry. Uh, to start off the pre card, they had Coke Cabana versus Anthony Henry, with Coke Cabana getting the win. I like Coke Cabana, was just too good of a talent to leave flailing on AEW because you've just got so big of a roster. Moved some of the talent to Ring of Honor. And keep the dark, dark elevation so that you can properly rework with all the talent you got instead of having to release everybody after you've signed everybody in the world. Next match is Shinobi Shadow Squad versus the Trust Busters. Trust Busters would win. Next we have Tony Depp and Alex Zane and Blake Christian versus Brian Cage in the Gates of Agony. Cage in the Gates of Agony would win. They're part of the Tully Blanchard Enterprises organization formed in Ring of Honor, so... Yeah, it's interesting to see how that'll go. Um, and last of the pre-card matches, we have Willow Nightingale versus Allison K. You have Willow, Willow Nightingale getting the win, so they're really wanting to try to push her. Um, so we'll, we'll see what they will actually do, because Allison K has held some championships and everything uh, herself holding the women's championship in the NWA and part of the women tag team championship um, so I really want to push Willow Nightingale uh, now we get to the card first we have the World Championship match between Claudio Castagnole versus Jonathan Gresham. Claudio would win to win the belt from Gresham. Uh, next, we would have the six-man tag team championship match between Dalton Castle and the Boys and the Righteous. Dalton Castle and the Boys would win to win the belts, which is a change of ownership. Then we have the pure championship match 
Will or Yuta versus Daniel Garcia. Will or Yuta would win to hold on to his belt. I'm glad they're giving Yuta the push he deserves. Next is Dragon Lee versus Roosh, Battle of the Brothers. Roosh would win, defeating Dragon Lee. Um, next would be the ROH Women's Championship match between Mercedes Martinez and Serena Deeb. Mercedes Martinez would hold on to her belt, defeating Serena Deeb. Then we have the Ring of Honor Television Championship match between Samoa Joe and Jay Lethal. Samoa Joe would win, holding on to his belt, forcing Lethal to tap. And then finally, we have the two out of three falls tag team championship match between FTR and the Briscoes. It would be Briscoes winning the first, FTR the second, and finally FTR the third to win the match. Um and retain their titles. So yeah, that's how the Ring of Honor pay-per-view went. Now, we know that Tony Khan has also been seeking a carrier for a Ring of Honor series. And while nothing has been concluded yet, he's been in talks uh, the biggest name mentioned is Warner Brother Dis uh, Warner Brothers Discovery, which may put them on I think Paramount Plus or or uh, yeah I don't think there's like a pure Warner Brothers Plus streaming app or anything I think it is Paramount Plus I think. But, uh, yeah. It'll at least give them ability to have more eyes on them, so. Um, but yeah. Now, the other thing we want to talk about that's been big news. Vince McMahon has retired as Chief Chair, yeah, WWE Chairman, CEO. So, yeah, remember it is now a publicly traded company, and I think he kind of felt there was no way to get around it. He had to retire uh, amid all these affair allegations and everything, so... The... CEO positions will be a co-CEO position between Khan and Stephanie McMahon. Uh, what was his? Nick Khan, yeah. Between Nick Khan and Stephanie McMahon. Um, Stephanie will also take over as chairman. I'm wanting to say they also called in Shane. So he's going to have a position as well, I believe. Triple H has been uh, raised up to the executive position for talent relations. So, yeah. We'll see how that goes. But it is, uh, I think it is without a doubt trying to quash the impact of the sexual allegation rumors on WWE itself. Like I said, where it is now a publicly 
traded company. So, but that's all we wanted to kind of talk about uh, in today's episode. I will be posting the links in the description below the video. As always, educate thyself. Think, read, study, learn. Someone tries to tell you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, later.